jealous do you get at, say, an airport as you pull up in your grotty Datsun taxi to see, coming up behind you, one of these? A huge American stretch limo. You know, white, tinted glass, the whole works. Ever wondered, perhaps, what it might be like to drive in one of these, to sit in the back of one of them? You know, to be, like, a famous person for a day or so. What about setting up the car to run as a business and chauffeur people about? Well, today I get my big chance to drive one, to sit in one, all will be revealed. Nick, you've been very successful over the past few years bringing limos into not only this country but across Europe as well. And what do you think makes limos so special? I mean, not only for people to want to, to be in them, but maybe for people to set up in business and, and start running their own limo company. I think one important factor is that Throughout Europe, 99% of people have never sat in a limousine of this type. So whenever anyone opens the door and climbs into this kind of vehicle, everybody immediately says, wow. An awful lot of our customers in this country are currently running Rolls Royces or Daimlers or cars of that nature for weddings. And through their advertising, they're constantly being asked, do you run American stretches? So eventually, most of them give in and buy one. I mean, this is one of the fanciest ones I've ever seen, so I'm not that I've been in that many limos. Um, you'd call this a, a J-seating plan, would you? This, this, this is a J-seat car, yeah. This car has been stretched by 190 inches. So the standard Lincoln Town car is 17 foot 6 long. This car has had 190 inches added in between the doors. This is actually the longest four-wheeled vehicle car in Europe. And what sort of price would this cost, you know, if you wanted to buy it? This car we've actually just sold to a company in Bolton for £100,000. £100,000. 100, but I mean, if you want to get in at the lower end of the scale, what can you, you know, what could you start off with and how much is it going to cost you to buy? Right. We have limousines in stock all the time from, a, from less than £10,000. So between eight and £10,000 you will get um, a six passenger limousine. It won't be as big as this, it won't be as fancy as this, but it will certainly do the job. And are there any special licences that you need to, you know, to get started in, in chauffeuring people about? Uh, they are actually a car, they're, they're taxed as a car, they're MOT'd as a car, and they're driven on a normal car driving licence. Now this has been kitted out with, with the seating all on one side, you've got glasses and lights and it's almost like a disco in the back of here. What special features are in this one? This particular car we had designed and, and built, um, this car actually has a laser display, it has televisions, it has video, it has computer games. Um, it has ice boxes, lots of decanters, lots of glassware. It's a real party vehicle. Lots of features inside the car. Let's take a look at some of the features that this one's got outside, shall we? Sure. It's got some special lighting down the side. These are called opera lights. Um, when you actually switch these, the side lights on on the vehicle, all of these light up. So we're talking about the stretch, and you say this is 190 inches extra. Now that if I'm right, starts starts here yes. and continues through to, to the rear door area. If you think about a normal car, you can't fit your fingers between the gaps between the front and back doors. When people talk about the stretch of a limousine, if it's a 100-inch stretch or 120-inch stretch, or in this case, a 190-inch stretch, that's the stretch of the panel that's been put in between the two doors. So the people who build these cars take a Lincoln, cut it in half, add the extra stretch in, what extra strengthening needs to go? Presumably they, they do need some sort of strengthening. They are massively strengthened underneath and very heavily put together. The cars are actually stretched by coach builders, uh, the majority of whom are appro approved by the Ford Motor Company, and they stretch them and build them to standards dictated to by Ford. Now normally when we come out to do car tests, it's normally me who's sat up front doing the driving. But today, I thought let's be a bit different. 
As we're doing a feature about stretch limousines, the place to be sat is back here, enjoying yourself, living the life of luxury, pretending to be, well, I don't know, a film star, a pop star for a change in this extremely fancy and well-equipped limousine. It's one of the longest ones around, and it's got laser lights, it's got a quality sound system, there's a games console to play on, TVs, you name it, it's got it all in here. Plus, of course, you can enjoy the odd drink or two. And I think I could get quite used to it.